Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta, and today we will understand how to do text mining in rapid mining. So, text mining, also known as text data mining, is a process of transforming unstructured text into a structured format to identify meaningful pattern and new insights. The first step in text mining is a tokenization. So, it is a process of breaking up a given text into units called tokens. The example is given below. Tokens can be individual words, phrases, or even whole sentences. In the process of tokenization, some characters like punctuation marks are discarded. The tokens usually become the input for the processes like parsing and text mining. The next step is transforming the cases to the lower case. You can see the statement which is written in the upper case. We have transformed this statement, uh, we have transformed it into the lower case. This is necessary to maintain the uniformity in all letters. The next thing which we have to do is filtering the stop words. Stop words are a set of common, commonly used words in any language. So it may be possible that your document may, con may consist of many stop words like a and the. Now we never analyze such stop words and therefore it is necessary to filter it out. In NLP and text mining applications, stop words are used to eliminate unimportant words, allowing applications to focus on the important words only. Then, next thing which we have to do is generate the n-grams. N-grams are continuous sequence of words or symbols or tokens in a document. In technical terms, they can be defined as a neighboring sequences of items in a document. If we specify that you have to generate unique unigram, only one word will be generated. Bigram, Two, two words together and trigram three words together. The next process which we have to do in text mining is stemming the words. To put simply, the stemming is a process of removing a part of a word or reducing a word to its stem or root. The example is given below. We are having many words like consult, consultant, consulting, consultative, consultants and consulting. It has been reduced to its root word consult. The next process which we want to do is lemmatization. Lemmatization usually refers to doing things properly with the use of vocabulary and morphological analysis of words, normally aiming to remove inflectional endings only and to return the base or dictionary form of word which is known as lemma. Now there is a biggest dis uh, the biggest disadvantage of stemming is, say for example, we are having change, changing, changes, change, changer. It will find out what is common common in all these words and it will reduce it to chain. Now here, this word does not have any meaning. C-H-E-N-G does not have any dictionary meaning. But lemmatization will work intelligently. Even after the reduction of the word, even, if you are, even after reducing the word, it will try to find out the nearest word according to the dictionary and therefore it will convert all of them to change. So lemmatization is much better process in comparison to stemming the words. Now how we can do this? Let's see in rapid mining. First of all, you will have to go in extensions and marketplace updates and extensions. Make sure that your internet connection is on. You will have to load two libraries. One, text mining. Search for it. Text mining. Search. So, one meaning cloud text analysis and second one is web mining both of them you will have to load it you can download this packages by just clicking on this select here and install one packages just press this and the installation will start then you'll have to press i accept the terms and conditions press install one packages Make sure your internet connection is on. Press no at present. Now, another library which is necessary is text processing and operator toolbox. Also load this two library. So in total, four libraries are to be loaded. Then you will be able to carry out text mining. Now we will come on the main page and we'll start text mining. The first thing which you have to do is go in the operator 
and activate process documents let's try to find out process documents from date from files drag it and drop it now you can see here this operator is having two layers it means that it, it is having a sub process inside after double clicking on it you will go in the sub process now here all your pre-processing which we have earlier discussed like uh, tokenization filtration will be done here but before that first of all connect your documents here so connect this input with the word here activate this operator go in edit list and try to locate the directory where you have put the text document so i'll say c c drive the speeches are kept here five speeches are there and i'll name this as speech apply so i have connected the text document with uh, with the uh, with this operator now double click on it and you will enter into the sub process the first thing which you have to do is tokenize so i'll drag it and drop it here and connect the doc with doc here now let us connect and see what happens if i i do the tokenization i'll just press this play button final connection is missing okay fixed now so it has fixed it i'll press the play button and you can see it has tokenized all the words which are there in the document so total occurrences it, it is giving document occurrences it is, it is giving and speeches in how many speeches it is but the thing which you should observe here is many of the words are are having first letter capital moreover there are many stop words also a a k and so we want to remove the stop words as well as we want all we want to convert all of them to lower case also okay again we will go in design and now we will see the connections are okay or not make sure you double click on process documents just a minute and now we will introduce transform cases operator after tokenization this is to be done in sub processes so transform cases and drag it and drop it here connect doc with doc and doc with document run it now you can see all the words have been converted into the lower case so this is a second part which we had already discussed okay but still there are some words like a which are to be filtered so i'll again go in design and this time i will activate filter stop words so you will be getting the stop words of german french we have to pick up the filter stop words which are related to english again run it and you can see now the stop words have also gone right next thing which we want to do is generating the n grams so i'll write down here generate n grams and pick up according to the terms and drop it here now you can specify here maximum length 2 3 and 4 let us see what happens if i specify 2 here run it so it will give the words see 2 this is 2 2 2 so it will give me bigram here now if i specify here 3 so it will give me the trigram 1 2 3 
So depending upon my required, I can specify unigram, bigram, or trigram. But you can see here, there are many words which are similar, but they are to be stamped. Or rather, we want to do the lemmatization on these words. So we want to filter these tokens. So how we can do this? Let's see. So I'll again go in design. And this time I will activate filter tokens by length. And I'll drop it here. I'll again run the process. And now you can see the filterization has been done according to the lemmatization of the words. Right? So it has considered lemmatization. If you go in design, if you activate generate engrams and if you specify one, you will be able, able to understand this thing very nicely. See this now. All unique words have been identified. So this is a uh, lemmatization. You can also run stemming here. Either you should run lemmatization or you should go for stemming. My experience is that you should always go for lemmatization because that is much better than stemming. So, if I activate stemming from here, normally we use stemming, uh, Potter stemming. Let me remove this and drop this stemming here. You will come to know what is the difference between lemmatization and stemming. See this. Abel does not have any meaning and the stemming has been done. Abred does not have any meaning. Abres does not have any meaning. Dictionary meaning. Does not have any dictionary meaning. So, if you use stem potter, it will it it will it will not look for any dictionary meaning. But if you go for lemmatization, that is stem tokens. No, it's not stem tokens. It is filter tokens by. length okay which tokens by length so i'll drop this here and i'll run the process that is filter tokens by length press the play button you got the answer so able is a word which has been generated 26 times in the document and you will get the frequency of each and every word. So this is a way you should do text mining in Rapid Miner. For more videos on Rapid Miner, kindly subscribe to my channel. There are many videos of Rapid Miner which I have already uploaded on my playlist. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please don't forget to press the like button.